I think I've discovered the secret for rewires. Spend a lot of money on decorating and they don't want their house trashed. This is gonna be the future for rewiring. Uh, I love it, I think it's brilliant. Now if you notice my voice seems a little bit deeper than normal, it's because I'm not very well. I didn't think it would, but it does. Right, enough waffling. You're gonna come downstairs with me and we're gonna wire that control module box up. That's what we're gonna do. So get a cup of tea, get comfy, get a biscuit, and let's do it. So this house, we, me and Jack, so we, me and Jack have been rewiring it, okay? Been fully decorated, so it's been a bit of a mission not to, it's to try not to cause as much damage as possible, which is what we've achieved. There has been some chases which we explained that it's inevitable that there's been a couple. So the worst chase that we've got is actually that one there, uh, and then one behind the telly. Um, that's pretty much it. So they spent a lot of money on decorating and they don't want their house trashed. So we think this is gonna be the future for rewiring. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I love it. I think it's brilliant. So I think for us moving forward, every re rewire, unless it's a new extension, things like that, is gonna be done in this way for us, I believe. I just think it's, it's so, so much better. So we have got our first fix in. So that's in, but then we're gonna go over to the light switch, okay? And I have got, oh my God, there's no wires there. There is nothing there. So the way around that, okay, is this little bad boy. So this is gonna be the game changer, that. So that is gonna be the game changer for rewires, 100%. So it's a kinetic switch, okay? So this is a wireless module. So then you have the actual wireless switching that you'll click into there. We use the MK grid version, which is actually brilliant. Um, so I'm gonna take you under the stairs and I'll show you where the modules are. Right, so we're underneath the stairs. Um, so as you've seen on previous videos, if you've watched those, is we've wired all the board up. Uh, that's all ready to go. Now, if you notice, my voice seems a little bit deeper than normal. It's because I'm not very well. Um, yeah, I know, poor me, still moaning. Um, actually, Jack's got it now as well. He's got whatever I've got. Um, but Jack is actually the other side of the wall, just there. Just do, do an outside socket at the minute. So, in here, we have got our normal board. We've already done the loft, okay? So, we're gonna wire this up now. So, I've got my feeds coming in that are gonna go straight into here. So I'll show you how I wire those up. But it is absolutely genius, this stuff. Uh, so I've got two module boxes in the house. One's in the loft, and obviously this one here. So one for upstairs, one for downstairs. So if this house had an airing cupboard, I'd put them both in there, because then that way everything's nice and easy. So we've got the, uh, all we need to do then is lift up the floor in upstairs, run everything into that point and we're all all done. So the good thing about it, so all second, all the second floor is all second fixed. So we've got the light up there, on there. And so this room is, cannot be damaged. It cannot be damaged no matter what, okay? So we have now got, this is one of the switching, the switches, sorry. So this now, it's just a little rocker switch, then the MK face plates go on, so whether you wanted white, chrome, or whatever else they do. So that's all it is. So as long as the back box is deep enough, now believe it or not, upstairs, the back boxes, and some of them are actually only 16 mil deep. And it still works. It works on here. I didn't think it would, but it does. So that allows me now to turn the light on up here. Yes. There's a bulb flickering that needs to be replaced, which I know, I know. Um, so now it's allowed me to do two-way, so which I've put that in. So it's a little rocker switch, and off she goes. Now of the client, which I said originally, I said, look, your light switch original position is actually further down in the hallway. If that does your nut in, which it would annoy, annoy me, what we can do is pair up an additional switch, so then that's three light switches for that and move it further down. Genius. So 
this is the finished product of what you'll see, just showing you upstairs. So, like well, I say, simple as that. How slick is that? So obviously then straight on, on off. So, right, enough waffling. You're gonna come downstairs with me and we're gonna wire that control module box up. That's what we're gonna do. So get a cup of tea, get comfy, get a biscuit, and let's do it. Okay, so a little bit cramped under here because as you always find me underneath a stairwell. So Jack's just having a bit of a square up upstairs. So you'll hear the hoover going in a minute. Um, so I've got two loop feeds, okay? So loop in, loop out on here. Um, and all my kinetic modules. Now, it's really, really important to label them up. Don't get me wrong, you're not gonna get shot down for it. But if there's something wrong with these and you go, oh, actually, I don't know why, that's not working or additionally they want an additional switch for it you it's just saves so much time so make sure you label everything up so my plan is to have all my earths all all in now because it's in an enclosure it's all labeled up i don't need to you know worry too much about have, having um singularly insulated cables there because they're all within their enclosure um so yeah so what i'm going to do rather than waffle on i'm going to just put you on time lapse and let's build it up together. Right, so as you can see from there, it's all all wired in nice and neat. And this is what I was meaning about your um, labeling it all up. So it's nice and easy, okay? So the good thing about these is that you've got, it clearly shows your ins and outs and you know on the inside. Now, ones I've used before don't, it's only on the lid covers, but these have it on both like that, you see? So they're actually really, really good. I do really like these. Um, it's not a sponsored video by, by Quinetic at all, um, but if you do want to sponsor me, happy days. Um, but yeah, so the key is now is, as you can see from, from that bit, is making sure all your cables are lined up and they're not pinching. So we'll get those bits on and then I'll show you how we go about pairing it, I think. But overall, absolutely love these. I think it's just definitely the way forward, the future for doing rewires. So. Bear with me and I'll show you how to pair, pair them up. Right, so I'm gonna show you about pairing, okay? So with here, with here, this is the kinetic switch, okay? So that's that's all that, that it is, okay? So that's absolutely brilliant bit of kit. So I'll bring you in a bit closer. So I've got a glamorous assistant behind me, AKA Jack. So I'll just sort that out. So the pairing procedure is Press and hold that three seconds and it will start to flash. Press the switch you want to be paired and that's on, off now. So that's one and then hand that over to Jack. And then if that's, if you put put that in there, so you if you go and click that one in into the living room, that will make. Uh, and then we'll do the same again now for this one. Okay, into the living room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you now, I'll take you off here. So I'm gonna show you into the living room. And it is a, literally, there's Jack, look. He is real, he's real. Um, 
that's it. So they're clicked in. So now all Jack's going to do now is after we've just paired the other ones in, is to get the face plate on, and that's it. That is done. So that controls the centre light, which is that one, and then the two down lights. How much easier is that? So we'll get the other one paired up, which is the other one is for one for upstairs. So there's another two to do. So that will go into here and upstairs, and then we'll get all the face plates on and show you the finished article. So, right, let's just pair that other one up together. We might as well do that together like this. So, entrance hall. So, just check that works, yeah. And then another one. Okay, Jack, if you pop that in down there and then one upstairs. Obviously, Jack likes playing with the light switches as usual. Um, and then we'll get the face plates on. Um, but yeah, the face plates essentially are the standard MK ones. They're nothing, you know, different. That's what they are the standard MK face plates. So if you wanted to change those for, you know, brushed or, you know, chrome or uh, brass, if you, you know, in inclined, you know, bit of brass, bit of brass. Um, so yeah. That's basically it. So we'll get those on, okay, and then we'll catch up with you and wrap this video up. Right, that's this done on here. Um, so we'll just leave it like this in here. So it's all labelled up so everyone knows what that's, that's in that box, um, all ready to go. Leave the business card from their stickers and that. Uh, that's where I got those. Um, should leaving all that sorted. So Jack, what's your view on the old Quinetic? I think they're really good to be honest. They're um, they're really cost effective, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. so. Like, you, you think of the time you'd spend running the cable if you weren't using them, mm -hmm. you'd spend the time you spend running the cable, doing the chases, bonding and yeah, filling, filling, filling and all that. Yeah, it's just it's a no-brainer. I think I, I prefer. I really. I like think it's faster. faster. It's yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely faster. Isn't it? I know material costs are more, but in in fairness, I think it's just I think it's definitely the way to go forward on that. Yeah, I'd say it's easy as well. Oh, yeah, it's easy. It's easy sorted. And if you had an airing cupboard, like this house hasn't got an airing cupboard, but if it did have an airing cupboard, <coughs> I, I think it'd be loads faster, even faster than doing this. Um, but yeah, so like I say, I've got all my, all the Quinetic stuff's actually from um, TLC, I got it. Um, and it, they were, it, ordered, it, ordered it and uh, got it literally the next day. So. Great customer service from them. Um, like I say, I'm not sponsored by them at all, um, but it was a really, really good service, so I think they deserve a shout out, really, on there. So from us, like I say, we've got, the rest of the house is all sorted now. Um, just a little, we've just had a bit of a square up, bit of a hoover out. I think we're pretty much loaded and ready to go. But like I, say, I hope you've enjoyed this video, because we've enjoyed um, working on this one, and I think, in fairness, it's changed the way for definite um, I've looked at obviously doing rewires and stuff for the future. Uh, I think for me, um, personally, I think it's definitely the way I'm going to go on every one, um, unless the client doesn't want those switching, uh, the actual switch, because they are a little bit different, and they Jack? The, the switches themselves are a little bit different, but it's just because they're just a rocker switch. But I think that's okay. I like them. I think it's, it's brilliant. It, it opens the door for so many different things, for all our garden stuff. We we use we use quinetic switching anyway for all our garden stuff. So yeah, so like you say, I hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, just have a quick chat about how I went about getting this job um, and securing the work because it's been over a year ish in planning. Um, one because of COVID, the the actual clients got COVID and we had to postpone it a year. Uh, oh, sorry, a couple of days before it's due to start. Um, but it was actually again through Tradeify that we won this job by using Tradeify. Um, our detailed quotes absolutely smashed everyone else out of the water. They didn't have a chance. And it's because of your initial setup is absolutely perfect because it's all itemized. Everyone knows what, they, what they're getting for their money. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's a massive win for from us. So like I say, today's video is sponsored <coughs> by Tradeify. 
Um, in the description below, there'll be a link down there. And if you click on that, you can do a 14 day free trial, which is exactly what I did. Um, and then if you like it, which I'm sure you will, if you use the promo code GHAWK50, you'll get 50% off for the next three months. But yeah, so from me and Jack, like I say, we'll catch you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure you've subscribed and we shall catch you later. Cheers, guys. Take care.